what public service should look like and looks like, I would say that's Sandy Snow. She is so well deserved to be honored. To honor a wonderful individual county employee dedicated beyond measure to the citizens of Surrey County and the employees of Surrey County. She pretty much knows all aspects of human resources and a little bit of all the departments within Surrey County government. She's just one of a kind, and Surrey County is very blessed to have her. Uh, Sandy's a part of the administration team here, along with Sandy and myself, uh, Andrew Wright and Vicki Wood. We work together as a team handling, handling the management functions of county government. Uh, aside from that, Sandy still has direct oversight of the human resources functions of county government. She manages that department. But on the administration side, she was responsible for leading our safety committee, our risk management oversight, as well as our employee wellness program. And that doesn't include any special projects or problems or issues that arrive on a day-to-day -day basis. Those take precedent most times and can put those other things on the back burner. But we work as a team. Uh, we're a good team, the four of us. And um, it's been a real pleasure to work with her um, in my time as county manager. I'm Susan Dobbins Dockery. I'm Sandra Snow's sister-in-law. She and two girlfriends that she graduated with came from the mountain to attend Surrey Community. She wanted to go into the nursing program. I can't remember what changed her mind, but she went to criminal justice. She met my brother, Jimmy. They were married. She uh, first went to work for Mount Airy City Schools. Then there was an opening in the Register of Deeds, a part-time with Bud Cameron's office. She applied and got that job. Then there became a full-time job in the finance office, and she was selected for that position. So she served several roles in county government. Sandra lost her husband, my brother, Jimmy Dobbins, in her late 30s. And at that time, she also lost her father, Bob Huffman, to a type of lung cancer that was very rare. And at that time, she still was answering calls and anything that the county needed, she was still available doing all of this. So I think that speaks volume for the character of Sandra Snow. And she married my husband's first cousin, Tim Snow. Sandra's day begins long before 8.15 when she checks in at the county. She and her husband Tim own, own a farm and she oversees and helps the boys doing about their lunch, any needs that they have, packing sandwiches, making sure the snacks are in there. You can't have chocolate because chocolate melts in the field. I found that out. So she makes sure their water jugs, they have soft drinks, the, anything they need. Just a good, good person. And I'm proud to call her my sister-in-law. I am Kennedy Dockery, and I know Sandra Snow as my Aunt Sandy. I remember that she had a 1990 brown Toyota Camry that was falling apart that she refused to stop driving and she would take me anywhere I wanted to go. We would go to the movie theater, we would go out to eat, she would take me shopping. And I even remember asking her when she was going to retire, and she told me she was so busy that she did not have time to retire. But I will say, no matter how busy she was, she would always make time for me. I am Eric Southern, Chief of Emergency Services for Surrey County. The year that Sandy had started here was the year I was born. And so when I grew up, my mom worked for the Soil and Water Conservation Service. As a kid, going to work with mom and sitting behind her desk at a desk that she had, and I believe, I don't remember the office that she was working in, but I remember Sandy was at that building. And that was really the first time that I learned her name. And of course, when I got hired with the county and started working, I always heard her name. And then as I progressed, progressed in the ranks at uh, Emergency Services, and started taking on more responsibilities, I would interact with her sometimes with human resources questions and, and payroll and things like that. And then of course when I got this position, we talk just about daily now over something. She has learned the ins and outs of government. She good at it? Very good at it. I'm making salmons and I 
served as county manager here in Surrey County from 2004 to 2008. I have had the privilege of serving as manager of eight different communities, five counties and three cities, and served two other cities as either apartment head or city manager. So I've come into contact with an awful lot of good people over the course of, of my career, which stretches back almost 50 years. But uh, Sandy Snow, of all those people that I've worked with over the years in a variety of places, she has been one of the most uh, committed and dedicated and, and, and loyal employees that, that I've ever encountered. And in fact, uh, I have at times, when I was county manager, I would at times uh, say, Sandy, go on home, because you've done more than your share today. Leave a little time and energy for yourself and your family. I'm Katrina Alexander, and I'm with Surrey County Economic Development Partnership. Uh, but uh, I used to work for the, for the county of Surrey, um, and I worked for Surrey County for 12 years um, from, started in 1993. Uh, I actually met Sandy Snow during that time, but we really worked closely together when I was the Parks and Recreation Director for the county. She always put um, a lot of effort into helping employees, um, growing people, um, and I feel like that was um, a great example for me at the time, and uh, I'm sure everyone else that, that interacted with her. I am Martha Brunel, Surrey County Information Technology Director. In my 24 years of working with her with Surrey County, Sandy goes above and beyond with everything that she does, not only for the county, but she, if you're her friend or if her family, she'll do whatever she can. Sandy? Snow. My understanding, she's been here 45 years. <laughs> the thing about Sandy is she's always stable. She's always consistent. Uh, she's always professional, courteous, compassionate. I think the culture of Surrey County government is something that from my 43 and a half years experience is unique and positive. Don Mitchell and I'm retired from Surrey County. I was here 15 years as a former, as a former facilities director. I wanted to talk about Sandy Snow. She's here on weekends. I don't know of anyone that puts in more hours than Sandy Snow. Tonight, we want to honor the local woman who has made a powerful difference with a lifetime of caring and dedication. Would you help me welcome Surrey County's assistant manager, Sandra H. Snow. I'm Daniel White. I'm the Director of Parks and Recreation for Surrey County, North Carolina. She's committed to this county. Um, she does so much for this county and so much for Parks and Rec. And, and she's there. She lifts us up and uh, she helps us grow. I'm Nick Brown. I'm the Director of Surrey County 911 Communications. She just has a a way to relate to, with people. She's very good at talking to people, explaining how the county process works to where they can understand. She's a good listener and always um, willing to answer any questions that anybody has. Sandy Snow, congratulations on 45 years of service to Surrey County. But you deserve all of this and more. Love you. I am very proud of you, Aunt Sandy, and congratulations on 45 years with Surrey County. Sandy, I am delighted to be a part of congratulating you on 45 years of service to Surrey County. It's an amazing and remarkable achievement. I thank y'all so much for honoring me. I really appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you.